Lightspeed POS is a powerful cloud-based point of sale system designed to help retailers, restaurants, and other businesses manage transactions, inventory, and customer relations with ease. Whether you're running a small boutique or a multi-location enterprise, Lightspeed POS offers features that streamline day-to-day -day operations, making it easy to manage your business efficiently. In this tutorial, we'll be walking you through the key aspects and steps of getting started with Lightspeed POS to ensure that you make the most out of this versatile platform. First things first, the easiest way to get started with Lightspeed is by using the link down in the description of this video. Once you click that link, you should be taken to a page that looks like this. And as you can see, the first thing we have to do is enter in our product. This can either be a retail shop or restaurant or even a golf course. We'll say for the sake of this video that we're a retail shop. We'll then enter in our full name, our email address, our phone number, and then hit the get started button. Once you've been approved for Lightspeed, you'll be taken to this page here inside of their program, which should look something like this. So we'll first start with a dashboard overview. Once you log in, you'll land at the Lightspeed dashboard. This is a central hub for managing your storefront. The dashboard is user friendly and it's organized into various sections, including things like the sales, inventory, customers, and reporting. Here, you can get a quick overview of sales performance, view recent transactions, and monitor inventory levels. First things first, let's talk about sales. This section allows you to process transactions, handle refunds, and manage orders. You can also see a detailed history of your sales, which is helpful for tracking performance over time. Next up is inventory. This tab is crucial for keeping track of your products. You can add, remove, or edit items, set stock levels, and categorize products for better organization. Up next is customers. Lightspeed POS also offers customer relationship management, otherwise known as CRM. You can create customer profiles, track purchase history, and manage loyalty programs directly from this dashboard. Up next is reporting. You can access detailed analytics and reports about your sales, inventory turnover, and employee performance. This helps you make more informed decisions based on your business operations. Up next, we'll be adding products to our inventory. One of the core functions of your POS system is the inventory management feature. Lightspeed POS makes it easy with their intuitive interface to add products to your inventory. In order to do this, we need to navigate to the inventory tab on our dashboard, which should look something like this. Click on add item and fill out the required fields such as the product name, SKU, price, and quantity. Once we're inside of this page, as you can see, we have a couple of different options that we can choose from. We have the stock control tab, the inventory counts, fulfillments, and serial numbers. Inside of the stock control tab, we can see what our stock looks like for any given type of order and see where orders, transfers, and returns are all at in their process. If we want to return stock, we can hit this return stock button. If we want to transfer stock, we can hit this transfer stock button. And if we want to receive stock or order stock, we can click any of these buttons. Once we head over to the inventory counts page, this is where we'll actually have an inventory count so we can see how how much of a given item that we actually have available. Once we're at the fulfillment page, we can see any of these orders that are being packed up or seeing if the customer picked it up or see if they're being delivered. There's also serial numbers where we can track our serial numbers of our products. One of the next things you might wanna look into is your customers page. This is a invaluable tool, especially if you wanna start building relationships with your given customers and start building out even loyalty programs. As you can see, if we already have an existing customer list, we can simply import them clicking the import customer button. If you wanna add a customer, Manually, we can click this button and then enter in some basic details like their first name, their last name, email address, contact number, and then have even more details here like their mailing address and their zip code and country. This is a really important tool and I definitely would recommend utilizing this. One of the other things I really wanna encourage you guys to look at is the retail dashboard. This is basically a dashboard that's gonna give you access to any and all information you could possibly want to know about what's going on with your storefront, whether that's the amount of revenue you're making, the sales count, customer count, gross profit, discounted rate, discounted percentage, average sale value, and a host of other important metrics. As you can see here, it doesn't just stop here though. If we go to the left, we can see a couple more tabs that we can click on. We have sales reports where we can see what our sales are looking like on a summary level or on an individual performance level or even a sales by the hour of the day. There's also inventory reports where we can see which items are selling the best. They also have access to payment reports where we can see where our payments are coming from, what types of payments are coming in, the credit cards that are being used most often, and a host of other important details. There's also Lightspeed Payments, which will take us to the Finance tab, where we can get set up here to have incredibly intuitive and easy access payments. This is something that you definitely shouldn't overlook if you're a brick and mortar chain. Going back to reporting though, there's also registered closures, gift card reports, store credit reports, tax reports, user reports, and shared reports. Each of these are important and give us even more insight into what's going on inside of our storefront. Now, if we go back to the homepage on our dashboard here, we also have a couple of other options here. The cell 
option and the online option. Let's over to the sell option. And as you can see, this is basically kind of what the inside of our register looks like. Now, for the sake of this actual video, we have a apparel register, which is basically for a clothing store. Now, any of these we can start messing around with and making changes to. For instance, I can click on one of these products here, like this crinkle pleat, and select the size for it. So let's say, for instance, I want to go ahead and ring up a medium, and then we'll go ahead and go with the rose pink color and the spring summer collection for the season. As you can see here, we have four variants here that we can look at and choose from, and we even have the actual stock number and how much we have available here, which is 50 at this point. There's also the retail price and a host of other things that we can look at, like the history, basically who actually bought this kind of stuff, and the details behind it, seeing kind of some things like, oh, this is a romantic midi dress that boasts a soft silhouette with an elastic tie waist and a host of other details that we can have about the product itself. And we even have the supplier price that we can look at here so we can see what our margin is in real time. Once we have all this checked out though, again, this is just a nice way to look at your products and get a good idea of what you're actually selling in the first place and have a very clear view of that uh, holistically inside of the website. Now, if we wanted to open a register, as you can see, this register is currently closed. And that's one of the nicest things about Lightspeed is that you don't have to have a proprietary actual POS system to actually start processing orders. If we wanted to open this register, we could simply just have the opening float right here, plus the notes if we want to have any, and hit the open register button. Once we have all of that, we then will print this out, which will then have a open register ready to go. As you can see here, we now can start adding products to this actual account and start making sales inside of our store if we wanted to that easily. Let's say, for instance, we want to add the leather derby shoe here, let's say in a size 10 and brown spring summer. And just like that, boom, it's inside of our payment software. And this is what people are buying. Once we have all this, we can then do helpful things here, like add a discount code, a promo code, or add any notes to it. We then hit the pay button, which will then take us to this page where we can then have the actual option that our customer is deciding to pay with, whether they be cash, gift cards, or Lightspeed payments. There's also the option of a loyalty program if they have points with us and they want to have even more of a discount. And nicely enough here, they actually pre-calculate the tax here for sales tax. We'll simply say that they're using a gift card here, then you can enter the gift card number. And if they're using cash, you can click the cash button, amount given by customer. And then we can even say if we have change, we'll just say that they give us the exact amount here. And then we hit complete sale. And that's pretty much all you have to do. And then once you do that, you print their receipt and they're pretty much ready to go. You can also email them the receipt if they don't want a physical copy, which is just another really helpful feature. And it's pretty much that easy. Again, this is one of the easiest to use POS systems on the market right now, guys. And if you aren't already getting started with them, I'd highly recommend doing so. Make sure you use the link down in the description below to get started with Lightspeed POS, so that way you get started with the best deal possible. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember that the links down in the description are affiliate links and they do go towards supporting the channel. So thank you in advance for your support. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss any of our future videos. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one.